today's video will be about college tips specifically for Fayetteville State University. Yeah, like all the stuff uh, Face X21 wants to know and uh, tips and tricks about college and just answering questions. Mostly for incoming freshmen, class of 2021. And maybe yeah. Alright, so the first thing you want to get into is the first day you will even like attempt to walk on this campus, which will be first steps you will go. That will be like the first time you ever like, you know, think about like really having a tour around campus and stuff. Um, I know we have like certain representatives and stuff that will guide you across campus and ask, you know, ask them any type of questions you want. I know in the future they will be having another one, I think in June. Do not quote me on that. Check Federal State University website for that. After all, they give you that orientation stuff. You go take a tour around the school, which is pretty cool. It's fun for me when I went. Uh, you also get some paperwork filled out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right? yeah. So, like the health uh, stuff and uh, housing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are the most important things, to be honest, because if you don't get the paperwork filled out, you will have to hold on your account. And let me tell you, it is some hell trying to get those hold off of your account, bro. <laughs> I haven't what? seen it. It's some hell. <laughs> Flames. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, just make sure you fill out the paperwork and housing oh. shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, just make sure you fill out that paperwork and housing should be the first. Yeah, it should be like the first thing you should get done because yeah. it goes out so quick. Like. I you're not guaranteed. You're I mean, not guaranteed. Plenty of space, house. but you're still not guaranteed. Not to get the one that you would like, because yeah. like, what, what are we on the east side of campus? Oh uh, yeah. I think we're on the east side of campus, and that's like where all the the dorms are separated. Like it's like all girls, all guys, but on the west side of campus, if I'm not mistaken, those are co-ed. Yeah, all co-ed. Oh, uh, we have uh, Bronco or McLeod. It's the same dorm. It has two different names for McLeod. 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 Same McLeod. McLeod. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not a hat, cloud. Right? <laughs> what? Right, from a cloud or a Bronco, same door, two different names for whatever reason. Uh, there's Renaissance, uh, New Red's Coed, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Hackley, too. Yeah. That's the honors dorm, so for all you scholars out there, you might be in there, maybe. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it, really the rooms are really big really in Hackley. Yeah. Uh, oh, Rennie, too. Rennie? Yeah. Oh my god, the beds yeah. are in there. That's, are so perfect. That might as well be a hotel. <laughs> Let me tell you, Rennie, yeah, basically, Rennie is a hotel. Like, they literally have full size beds, all right? They got memory carpets, foam. Memory foam and all. <laughs> they got carpets in the room. All right, you got this nice, what do you call it, like a vanity? Yeah, a like vanity. a vanity dresser. Is the desk like, area? Talk about the mirror. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, over the sink, over the sink. But their, their desks are nicer too. Yeah, the desks Even are the way desk. nice. Uh, and then the vanity. I guess I don't know the mirror, and yeah. like it's like a nice sink. You have and doors you your and own stuff. bathroom. Yeah. I think that's the only door where you don't share a bathroom with any other people yeah. except for your room. You room. literally have a bathroom in your room. It's like this big walk-in shower. It's pretty cool. Next thing we're talking about is move-in day. All right, so uh, my move-in day was, uh, I guess it was more people than his because. Yeah, I came spring semester, and so only a lot of people came in spring, and a lot more people come in in fall because that's like the normal. Yeah, it's like the beginning of the year. All right, so my move-in day, uh, I, ooh, I cannot remember. It was sometime in August, though. I do know that. Uh, it was sometime in August. They sent out a list, and they had different time periods for uh, like each name group. I think they went by last name. I cannot remember. But they went by like last names, and it was like, say, for instance, now this, this is not correct, right? But let's just say uh, A through D would uh, move in around 8 to 10 o'clock. And then there'll go so on by the times and the uh, the names of the uh, students. I want to say you don't need that much stuff. You probably won't have a place to put it all, to be honest. Uh, just take the stuff you need. Get a uh, a twin size comforter if you're living anywhere but Rennie. Does Bronco have a uh, full size bed or just twin too? No, Bronco has twin as well. Yeah. So, so unless you're moving anywhere, unless you move it, yeah, unless you move it into Rennie. Get a twin size comforter. Yeah, so. get a twin size. So like any other dorm has twin size beds. Uh, I think twin XL would be more ideal just to make sure it fits, just to be safe. Need you need you must have what is it called the the memory foam pad. Yeah. Please get one of those. Make sure you rock so it won't feel like you're sleeping on a cot. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, the memory foam is like the best thing you can ever invest in. A cot, though? No. <laughs> nah, because like somebody was like, y'all are sleeping on cots. I said, what? what, what? Nah, like, they're not cots. We'll give y'all another video about the dorm tour or whatever. Yes, yeah, just make sure you have a nice comforter. 
uh, something warm. Yeah, like you said, you know, when you move in, don't bring don't, too much stuff. But don't come here with 10 boxes. Like, you're not even going to have a place to put it all. Like, yo, under your bed is going to be junky. Yeah. Your closet is going to be junky. Like, just bring, bring your clothes, bring your shoes, bring your towels, your comforter set, your, bring a microwave, refrigerator. Please, please, please. Don't go out of the other people's, other people's room begging for food all the time. Have your own food. Yeah. That is irritating. See? You don't want to be that person because people are going to think about you like, I was asking for food. Yeah, we got people that come in here now all the time. Every time we go grocery shopping, they're like, yo, can I get some food, bro? Can I get some food? We'd be like, the door, okay? <laughs> Exit. But yeah, just make sure you bring food because food is something important. Um, that shouldn't take up too much space from like all your moving in and packing and stuff. So food should be like at least one fourth of uh, the total, you know, stuff that you bring into the dorms and stuff. Yeah, you can even bring that the next day, to be honest. Or, yeah, or you can just move in and then go get the groceries, yeah. which is smarter. But um, yeah, like you said, you shouldn't have that many bins and stuff. Just get, you know, essentials that you would need. Just the same stuff you would use at home, you would bring here. Um, make sure, please make sure you grab a mirror. There are mirrors posted. Yeah, yeah in Harris there. Hall, we, we got mirrors out in the hallways. But I think we're the only dorm that literally does that. You may not know this, but you need shower shoes, especially in Harris. Walking down the hall, it's a community bathroom. It's nasty. You don't want to put your feet in those nasty showers. So get, like, some slides or some sandals or something and wear those in the shower when you take a shower. Yes, please. I'm not even gonna lie. People are nasty. Yeah, okay. they are. All right, they're nasty. Please Tissue. bring your own tissue. And no, no, no. I mean, you can bring tissue, but they have it here. Uh, places like Bronco and Renaissance. Those bathrooms are more personal, so you bring yeah, your Yeah, you have to bring your own tissue, like toiletries and stuff like that. People are just so disgusting. So shower shoes is a plus. I'm, got, I'm glad he said that because you do not just want to walk in a shower barefoot, okay? Get some, what, under $5 slides or bring some old slides you got out of the house and you'll be set. Something. Anything plastic. Do not get something with cotton in it because I do know those Nike slides. I did shower in those before. And after a while, like, the padding underneath does start to smell weird because, like, the water is trapped there. Nobody thinks to, like, wring it out. So what you do need to bring also is cleaning supplies. Yeah. Um, including air freshener, okay? Yes, that's what I was saying. Keep air freshener in your room. Some of these people, they're nasty. They don't clean up. You walk in the room, you get hit in the face. You get, I'm telling you, you, you come back from class. Look, we got. I look. I'm not calling no names out or nothing. But there's some people room you walk in and you just walk right the fuck back out. Okay, they hit in the face with a stench. You are a smelly pirate hook. I order a stench. <laughs> it's, you, it reeks. Okay, it's so nasty. So please, make you don't sure want to be that person. You don't either. want to be that person. Man. Just please make sure you bring some air freshener. Sometimes just open the windows. Yes, fresh air is always good for your door. Uh, I know, Rennie, you guys' windows don't open. They're just like, I can't yes. explain. Yeah, it's just like a glass panel. You can't you can't open those windows. But y'all have really nice AC. We have AC here, too. It's but the wishy-washy type Yeah, it's wishy-washy type thing. But uh, uh, this detergent, uh, stuff for your laundry. Yes. If you're going to be doing laundry on campus, please make sure that you bring your own dish detergent and detergent period like washing detergent yeah wash detergent or uh yeah, Tide pods or the top pods are perfect for that okay so you don't have to worry about filling the little things just pop it right in so uh yeah top pods is a plus plus uh you want to make sure all right so like you're gonna get a bronco car right it's like your bronco uh, you... boom <laughs> y'all see these cars y'all probably can't see the glare but uh, I don't need to see the picture. Yeah, the picture hurt. But uh, you'll get these Bronco cards, and you can put cash on these for certain type of things. Like you can use these for the vending machines. Uh, if you add put cash on them, um, you can also put cash on them to do your laundry because you do need to swipe this in order to do your yeah. laundry. It's like what one twenty five. One twenty five while it's load dry. Yeah, yeah, load. It's it's not both. So it's one twenty five per load. So it's like. You want to wash your clothes, 125. You want to dry your clothes, 125. So it's kind of like that. Uh, you can load these in the student center, uh, which yes. is near the CAF or the library. So yes. those two places to put money on this card for the vending machines and for your laundry. All, All right, right, for, for the, the next topic is Bronco Bucks. Uh, for those, uh, what's your meal plan you're going to have as a freshman, once you change it, you're going to get 120 Bronco Bucks. And basically what Bronco Bucks are, it's weird to say, but it's kind of like food stamps. There's uh, places on campus where you can redeem your Bronco Bucks and get food and stuff. 
Uh, if you don't want to get at the calf, like the grill, uh, C3, that's uh, like refrigerator. Refrigeratable. I mean, it's not. It's like a whole convenience store yeah, on basically, campus. Basically. Like with uh, frozen foods and stuff like that. Drinks, frozen food, uh, chips, candies. Uh, you get uh, Jimmy's. When we stop. You get Jimmy hats. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. So, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. They do sell Jimmy hats. Yeah. They sell Jimmy you need hats. Those, you go there and get them. If you don't I know they're Trojan which, brand. Yeah, they're Trojan, but if you don't know what Jimmy hats are, they don't sell Magnums, but they sell some condoms, all right? Yeah. So Look, basically, free condoms. I mean, they're Bronco Bucks. You they, no, them. wait, we gotta get one thing out the way. That store is expensive. Yeah, okay. it's like, I wanna say double what it is in the regular store. They have to make money. Yeah, double. But you gotta think about it. It's it's kind of worth it because it's free money. You get it. It's like it comes with your tuition, so you don't have to really pay out of pocket. Yeah, you don't have to pay out the buy. You don't have to <laughs> you don't have to pay out of pocket. So like all of that, you know, it's basically like free a uh, free one hundred and twenty dollars to basically Spend buy campus. whatever you want. All right, as of right now, I'm totally I'm totally out of Bronco Bucks. I have about seventeen left, I think. I spent mine within the first two weeks, but I, I <laughs> advice. Ration it yes. over a whole semester. You only get 120 per semester. That's only if you get the unlimited meal plan uh, for the year. Yeah. If you uh, downgrade your meal plan, you get more Bronco Bucks. I don't know how that works exactly, but I just know you get more. All right. So now we're talking about the calf, calf food. I think it's decent. A lot of people say they hate it. They try to stay away like it's the worst thing in the world. I honestly think it's decent. 99% um, of the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. It be banging, okay? It's really good. I don't think it's decent. It's great, okay? It's really got a certain image of Alright, the cat food is honestly... Alright, it's great. Alright, it's really good. You get, like, certain days... Uh, I don't know if they still... Do they still send out the, um... The menu? Yeah, the menu. They're every once in a while. Like, yeah, every once in a while they will sign a menu. Um, but I do know we always have Fish Fridays, right? Yeah. It's always Fish Fridays on Fridays and stuff. Too. Chicken Wednesdays, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, you can yeah. get things from pizza. It's sold every day they around lunch. Yeah, pizza and fries every day. Yeah, pizza and uh, fries. They have hot dogs sometimes, corn dogs. Burgers. Uh, burgers. Uh, ch chicken, rice. They have dinner foods, like real dinner foods, like yeah. chicken, rice, greens, and stuff like so that. So you don't have to worry about not getting a home-cooked meal because trust me, dude, you'll get it there. You might need to add a little salt and pepper, but still, you'll get it. You'll get it in the cab. Uh, they have soup, lentil, uh, lots of sweets, man. I, look, yeah. people know that's a great dessert every day. If people know me, I love cookies. Okay, I'm talking chocolate chip. You get sugar cookies, oatmeal raisin, peanut butter cookies. Oh God, so many different things. They sell brownies. I mean, no, not sell, but they serve brownies. Um, what else do they sell? Brownies and cakes. Yeah, cakes sometimes. It's literally amazing. Uh, Jello, Jello, yeah, things. Jello puddings, pies. It's I'm a sweet person, okay? <laughs> Alright, I don't like sweets, so <laughs> they got it. You you think about it, they got it. Um, oh yeah, you do need to swipe your Bronco card. Yeah, um if you're a freshman, like you said, with the unlimited plan that they give you, if you don't downgrade, you get unlimited swipes, you can go to cafe whenever you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait outside like some people who ran out. Yeah, uh, certain those, people, certain people run out of Bronco. I'm, certain cast people wipes. run out of uh, cast whites, and you know they be waiting outside, you know, asking, you know, bombing off a of swipe man. They're like, yo, yo, pee, bro, can you swipe me, dude? It's just like, look, I'm about to tell you now. Okay, so there's this thing where you have your swipes and you have guest swipes. Your guest swipes are limited. I'm not sure how many, but I'm pretty sure it's. It around can't be 15. no more. Yeah, around 15. It's about 15 guest swipes, which means you can swipe anybody, like, you can swipe anybody in, whether it be a friend or, you know, somebody who lost their Bronco card or whatever. But I say use those very sparingly, okay? Because once you run out, you cannot get any more for the semester. Uh, my advice is, if somebody asks, I mean, it's nice to do it every once in a while, but if you start seeing people ask you, you know, every other day or something, you got to say no sometimes. I know you don't want to, but you got to say no to those bummers, all right? <laughs> bummers. Bummers. <laughs> yeah, cat food, pretty swell. Yeah, cat is amazing. You cannot, let me tell you all this, you cannot bring any water bottles or, uh, or anything. Because if you have a, a bottle of water in your hand, it will make you drink it right there. Or they would tell you to leave it at the front desk. Why they do this, I don't know. But it's 
It's so wet. You can low key take food. <coughs> yeah, uh, you're not supposed to have containers to take food. But, yeah, uh, don't have containers for later. Don't have containers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So, in the Face State uh, Twenty One group chat on on Group Me, which is a great app for anybody. So, if you guys want to sign up for that. Uh, just hit me up on Instagram. I know this at name is gonna sound weird, but pineapple booty <laughs> juice, okay? And your Instagram name? Terror Wave. Yeah, Terror Wave. We'll put oh, that like yeah. right on the ear. Yeah. Um, but in that group chat, in the Fade State Twenty One group chat, um, Simbly, I don't know if that's her real name or not, but it says she asked, "Can you break down how dorm rooms work and how visitation works?" About the dorms. Um, you have to swipe your Bronco card to get into your specific dorm. Yeah. If you go to another dorm and try to swipe your card, it will be declined. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Your card will not work in any dorm but yours, the one you are assigned to. Um, also, when you get inside the dorm, uh, you have, your, of course, your rooms. It will, your key will only work for your rooms. All right, so for Harris Hall, I'm not sure for Joyner, but... Yo, or Smith. We have a physical key that we yeah. can unlock our doors, but on the west side of campus with uh, Bronco, Rainy, Norris? I don't, I don't think they use, I think they use keys just like us. Well, I'm not sure about New Res, okay? I'm not sure. But <laughs> Hackley also, they use, they use their car to get into their physical room, like their actual room, not just dorm, but their room. We use keys. Yeah, we have to have a car and a key, a car to open the door to the dorm, and the key to open your specific room. Uh, other dorms, like you said, you have a card that works for both, uh, which are usually like the more newer, uh, yeah, dorms. newer dorms. Yeah. All right. So also, we're about to talk about visitation. Okay, visitation varies from dorm to dorm. All right. Mm -hmm. For our dorm, it's uh, till twelve in the weekdays and what? On a weekend, Friday. Uh, it's Friday and Saturday. It's to two a.m. in the morning. That's when your guests have to leave. Yeah. The weekdays is twelve a.m. and Sunday. Okay. If you do not have that specific person out of the dorm by the time stated by your specific dorm advisor, I mean, or like, yeah, RAs, RAs or DA. CAs or DAs, if they're not out by the designated time that they tell you to, uh, you will be fine. I don't know how much it is. It's 50 for Harris. I don't know how much it is. Yeah, for it's $50 dollars for here, but any other way, it could be that. And or, no, you can't plus. bring them and pay $50 for them to come. You'll get kicked out and still be fine. Yeah. They'll get kicked out. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, I got $50 so they can just stay. No, that's not how it works. But uh, they will come to your room and attain them. <laughs> okay? They will attain them. Certain doors should not be open, okay? And I know in our dorm it says do not open this door oh, yeah. or there will be a $250 fine, okay? $250. Emergency exits only. But... I swear, if we can use them, we can get out the door way faster. You can get, get out the door way, way faster. faster. It's like a staircase in the back. It's so simple. But please do not open those doors because I'm telling you, you do not want to have to sit there and pay $250, okay? They're going to be open on the first day of school uh, when you move in just so you can like, have easy access to put your stuff up in your room. But other than that, please do not open those doors. You will be screwed, okay? You yeah. will be screwed. That's a lot of money for a college student. 